This video is sponsored by Squarespace. When color grading concert photos, there's a few different approaches you can take. Since the lighting is pretty much out of your control, each photo may require a different kind of edit. The first approach we'll cover is adjusting for skin tone. If the color cast on your subject is yellow, blue, green, or magenta, consider yourself lucky. A lot of times you can simply make white balance adjustments to the photo and get a more accurate skin tone. Let's take a look at this shot. Red cast with an orangish yellowish hair light. Sheesh. First, let's brighten the image. Then I'll get a base preset on the image. Then we'll shove the tint over to green. Then the temperature over to blue. Now let's go down to calibration. I want to take both the red and the green primary hues to 100. Then lower the saturation of each. The blue hue will come down to around negative 10 and the saturation to negative 35. Okay, now let's add a mask for our subject and increase the exposure here. And tweak the white balance to get a little better skin tone. Okay, those adjustments alone give you a pretty workable image that is a lot better than straight out of camera. But if all else fails, just slap a black and white preset on it and go home early. Another one. Okay, I've got the edit just where I want it, but unfortunately, Andrew's got a horrible red light on his face. Thanks, lighting guy. Or lighting girl. Okay, let's create a mask. You can use Lightroom's person detection to do it or just use a brush. First, I want to adjust the hue so it better matches the color of his neck. Now, I can simply drop the saturation. It gets a little tricky because you don't want him to look like the undead, but you also don't want him to look like a tomato. Or a tomato. Another technique that may work for you is adding a color overlay. You'll have to find the right balance of the color overlay saturation and the saturation of the existing color, but you should be able to get something that looks more human and less like something from your garden. We can also create a separate mask for his neck and adjust the hue so it blends better with his face. If only there was a way to do that for my makeup. Okay, let's see the before and the after. Another one. With the overwhelming magenta color, even cranking our white balance tint all the way to green only does so much. So let's head down to the color grading panel. Okay, let's go into the midtones. And the opposite of magenta is green, so let's add some green. That's looking better. You can also play with the luminance slider below too. We can also go into the global color and add a little warmth. Okay, let's take a look at the before and after. I think both are fine, but this adds more color contrast to the image, which I prefer. Okay, there are times when the lighting is so dramatic, there is no correcting for skin tone, or you really wanna capture what it was like to be there, color cast and all. Okay, here I'll start with a preset. Okay, how about our Kodak Ektar one? I wanna warm this photo up because I really like the little splashes of a warm color in the back. I think it complements the blue perfectly. One thing I do wanna fix though are these hot spots of saturation where some of the lights are. There are a couple ways to fix this. The first is getting a new job. Accounting seems stable. You can also try grabbing an adjustment brush and painting over these spots. Then we'll crank the exposure and then bring the tint down to magenta. I'd rather have it be blown out than have distracting spots of odd colors. Another way to fix this is by bringing the tint for the entire image over to magenta. I really love how the colors split and we get this interaction between the blues and magentas to create some really nice contrast and more depth to the image. Okay, let's take it to the next level. Over in the color grading panel, click global. Take a lap around the color wheel to see if you like adding additional color to the image. You can get some really interesting looks pretty easily. Again, with editing, it's up to you on how you want to do it, and with concert photography, you have some leniency to try on some different styles. A more stylized method I've seen concert photographers like Maddie Vogel use is gradient mapping. For this, we have to head into Photoshop. Sorry. Now click on the Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon and select Gradient Map. If you are new to gradient maps, basically they will add color to the image based off the lightness and darkness. So for a quick example, if we add a blue color on the left and a yellow color on the right, here's what it'd look like. Here I created a gradient by pulling some colors from the original edit. Then I switched the layer blending mode to color and played with the opacity of the layer. 
You can get as trippy with it as you want. Then you could add some grungy textures to it and boom, next thing you know, you're making dozens of dollars as a tour photographer. Well, there you have it. Sorry. Hello? Oh, it's Squarespace. If you've watched our videos before, you probably know that we are pretty big fans of Squarespace. We have been customers of theirs for years, long before this YouTube channel even existed, and still have our three Squarespace websites going strong. Usually we do something off the walls for our ad spots like fake our elopement to trick my mom, spoof old MTV reality shows, or do our best Peloton commercial parody. But I wanted to let you know about some new things cooking over at Squarespace. If you're a photographer looking to diversify your revenue streams, check out their new member areas. This allows you to sell access to gated content like video classes, digital downloads, or newsletters. Frickin' sweet. You can also showcase your photography with Squarespace's professional portfolio designs. Customize the layout, look, and feel to make it your own. Also, you can schedule and book appointments straight from your website. You need to lock in client meetings? Well, they can easily see your availability and reschedule if needed, making your life a heck of a lot easier. And if that wasn't cool enough, you can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain when you go to squarespace.com slash mango street, or just click the link in the description. Sheesh.